sport, but we're focusing on Holt against Zhao. As you see, the Chinese has taken a 2-1 lead. The first couple of frames were very scrappy. Michael Holt managed to level the match at one all on the final black, but Zhao has now moved 2-1 in front. First to six now in the semi-finals will take the players through to Sunday's showpiece and the prospect of a first prize of £80,000. Mike Hallett alongside me, Philip Studd, for this battle. And, Mike, there are bound to be a lot of nerves out there because this is a big occasion for both players, both featuring in their first ever major semi. Yes, hoping to get there to the final as well, of course. One of them will be there, but as you say, it's not been... Uh classic stuff so far but the uh, a little bit more time to settle down in the semi-finals with um, the best of 11s the usual interval after four though Zeng Wally doing this uh, first semi-final and Zhu Ying will be doing the second one a little bit later on actually Yes, Hawkins against Ding promises to be a cracker. Ding Zhongwei mightily impressive in his victory over Neil Robertson yesterday, as was Hawkins, who came back from 4-2 behind against world number two Mark Selby. Knocked in the tournament high break to date of 140 to win the decider. Young Kieran Wilson won't uh, thank him for that, will he? No, indeed. Kieran Wilson, who had a terrific run himself to the quarterfinals beaten by Michael Holt 5-1 but he had the previous highest break of 133 before Hawkins run yesterday on his way to that final frame victory over Selby but Michael Holt whose previous best in major ranking events was five quarterfinals this new territory for him 35 years of age now he's been a pro since 96 he's never quite managed to break into the highest echelons of the game but He's had a terrific run here in Shanghai this week. Surprise Judd Trump, of course, 5-1 in the first round. And has since scored victories over Martin Gould by the odd frame. And the aforementioned Kyron Wilson to set up this semi-final. He's been playing with a lot of confidence. And, uh, well, we're into the big money now. These guys here playing for about £16,000 today. So there's a lot of money on offer this weekend. £80,000 to the eventual winner tomorrow. Zhao in your picture, just 24 years of age. He's been a pro for six years. And he's up to his career high ranking as a result of this semi-final appearance. He's now 31 in the world. Has beaten the likes of Ding, Trump and Ebden in ranking events before. Twice a quarter finalist before this tournament. But what a week he's had. Qualified as of right. Then came through a wild card round against compatriot Yuan Siyun. And then beat Maguire, Lyons, and then edged out John Higgins, conqueror Mark Davis, 5 4. Well, has he made a mistake here and left this red on to the centre pocket? If he has, it's a massive mistake. Uh, the first three frames we've seen have been, as Philip said, he's been a little bit scrappy. This one's probably. It's slightly going the same way, but if you can get to this red, this is a great chance. Oh dear me, should have got that. Holt knows he should have got it. Heavenward glance, that was a big opportunity with the reds invitingly spread back on its spot. Well, he could definitely see enough of the red because he caught the near knuckle. And already 29 points to the good, that really was golden opportunity gone begging can Zhao punish him One. just slipped past the black could easily have gone wrong He's okay. I think he's still got one to the centre here. Eight. It's the frame for the mid-session interval, of course.
Nice. Met twice before. It's one win apiece. But this by a distance. The biggest meeting. The most significant one and the biggest match of their lives. Well, he was 4-2 down yesterday to uh, Mark Davis and came through 5-4. Played a really good last frame. So he showed uh, good temperament there. And every chance to make it 3-1 at the mid-session interval. 17. Looking confident. Nice rhythm around the table. Might play up for the one near the right and centre pocket. Unless he plays a cannon into this one and leaves the reds to the middle. Well, that's okay. Wanted a full ball contact on that red, really. He was hoping to be on the red that's on the pink spot. But he's got choices here. Well, the pink will go on to the green spot, but uh, again, just look where the reds are. I mean, this should be 3 1, really. Possibilities, of course, Mike, of an all Chinese final. What an occasion that would be here in Shanghai. Indeed. You'd have to make Ding Zhongwei the favourite at the outset against Barry Hawkins, but that could be a very tight affair. Hawkins playing the snooker of his life, of course, the world championship runner up and in terrific form against Selby. Yeah, but how well did Ding play yesterday against Neil Robertson? Outstanding. His tactical play was almost perfect. And in the end, I think that was the difference. Robertson really didn't do a lot wrong. And his safety game was pretty useful. But Ding just had the edge in that department. 46. And scored well when he had to. This will be a roll reversal for the pink and the green. Fifteen. 21 the lead then, not far away from winning in this fourth frame. Oh, well, that was mightily close to staying on the lip of the pocket. Catching the near jaw, but just dropping. Yes, and effectively caught the blue on the way through, so having to play the pink instead. <laughs> 28 the lead, 43 remaining, so red and a black be enough to require Michael Holt getting a snooker. He's on the green, so he will need the final red. A bit surprised he didn't play for the black there, Mike? Yeah, well, yeah, a little bit. But I mean, he saw the angle on the green. It was not a problem to get onto the final red. So this is the frame ball. Yeah. 
In it goes. It's been a very relaxed and confident break from the young Chinese. Well, I mean, Michael had the initial chance, actually. Missed the red to the middle. Wasn't a difficult pot. I say he could see enough of it because he caught the near jaw. So that, uh, that fairly nice. easy miss red has cost Michael Holt dear here. And he'll be 3-1 behind going into the interval. And things to think about, really, for the man from Nottingham. First two frames, very scrappy. They were shared. But since then, Xiao has stepped it up a gear. And he's halfway to a place in his first ever ranking final. Not looking overawed by the occasion. There'll be a big cheer in a moment. Can't quite make the century. But he won't care. He'll be leading 3-1. And he's got better and better as the tournament has gone on, this young man. And every match he's played, he's, you can see the improvement. Great break. Wonderful break from Zhao Gudong. A real statement of intent to Michael Holt. And he reaches the interval with a 3-1 lead. The first to six will progress to the final, and it's the Chinese... Very composed 90 plus break from the man in your picture to take him two frames clear. He's looking very cool and composed in what is the biggest match of his life. The same goes, of course, for Michael Holt. They're in unknown territory here, major ranking semi. Holt has won a couple of PTCs, but this is something rather different. And Mike Hallett, there's the small matter of an £80,000 prize for the winner on that Sunday evening, so there's a lot to play for here. There certainly is. Well, he missed that red to the middle in the last frame, and those could have really been his, but Zhao stepped in, made a superb break. Michael Holt, um, a bit to do here, and he nearly, well, he's, I'm saying he's really got to put this one on the board. If he goes 4-1 behind, best of 11, a lot to do from there. He's been playing well this week. He's just got to think about, you know, how he's got here. Forget what's gone before now and just concentrate on things ahead. Kept his nerve impressively in that final frame victory over Martin Gould, which went down to the final pink. And the really eye catching result of the week, I guess, was his uh, thrashing of Judd Trump. Five frames to one. I don't think many saw that result coming. Would have given him a lot of confidence. Well, Zhao just overhit that uh, safety shot slightly. Well, I was wondering whether Michael would be tempted with the red on the right hand side. He's not. He's playing a safety here. Swinging the cue ball around the angles. That's pretty good. Great pace. Just coming off this red near the black. Well, it's come off the pack actually, he's caught it far too thick. I thought he was playing the other one, but uh, that's a poor shot really. And having played such a good break in the last one, this was the last thing he wanted to do, was give Michael an easy chance in this uh, first frame after the interval. Yes, pink and black, not ideal for Holt right now. So a bit of work to make this into a sizable break. Played with a touch of check side to land on the blue, and he's played it well. Like to try and get on the red that's near the black spot if he can, but there's plenty to go at first before he, he plays that one.
it's just checking to see if the pink goes to the middle. If not, he'll come back for the blue. <laughs> Struck that well. Could do with getting the black onto its own spot. After he's removed that red, though. Well, this will open up the pink. quite the perfect angle so he might play the one to the center but this is a great chance here to claw a frame back he'll be disappointed that he missed that red into that right center in the last frame it cost him dear but he can make amends here and he was 29 points to the good when he missed that red in the previous frame and they were very invitingly spread and of course Xiao punished him he didn't get another shot 90 break so vital he takes this chance. But he too is striking the ball well. Has done all week, but he, uh, he needs a couple of good frames here to get himself back into this match. Fifteen and a half thousand pounds these boys are playing for in these semi finals. The possible eighty thousand tomorrow. It's great money. Well, that's gone all right. Well, he struck that one too well. He's, he's played on the pink bit. He might have to take this blue one. Stretching over things. A lot of pressure on this blue as well because with the red spread as they are, Hawk will be having deja vu about the previous frame. 20 plus point lead. He knows if he misses it, he's leaving his opponent in. And he's on the stretch as well. Tough shot this. And a very good shot. Well worthy of the applause he's getting. Well, that was a confident pot. Didn't hold back on that one. This is a new Michael Holt for my money. He's a lot more composed than I've seen him in the past. He's always been a player who's been very demonstrative around the table, wears his heart on his sleeve and perhaps gives his emotions away a little too much. But there's been rather more steel about this version of Michael Holt here in Shanghai. And it's paying dividends. Well, now he can get rid of this red. Should be able to just drop this in for the black. Play back for the pink. No, he's playing the other one. I thought he might play the straight red and get the black onto its own spot. Nice. Not come far enough for the pink, and he's the wrong side of the blue, so he's got to avoid the bolt colours here with the cue ball. Sometimes, you know, if you don't catch him on the way in, you can catch him on the way out. Just one good positional shot. It should be okay. Well, he's on the red to the middle. Forty-five. 
Oh, I think both these were to go. But at this stage, it just wants you know, plenty of room. It just It doesn't want to play on the black. It's a little bit more difficult than probably the blue and the pink, of course. But So at this stage, trying to win the frame, you want to try and keep it as simple as possible. Still not sure which way to go. <coughs> We've done it slightly. I just wonder whether we might play a cannon now into the four reds. Difficult to hold for the red near the black. There's room there if he just misses the pink on the right hand side. Just clips that red. Nicely done. He's got them open now. He actually worked out in, in his favour. Just not quite getting on the blue correctly. Great chance to uh, to win the frame from here. In fact, well, this is the red that he missed in the last frame. Well, this isn't a gimme by any means. Tight angle. Good shot. Impressive stuff this from Hulk. Good response to the disappointment of losing the previous frame. And after a couple of very scrappy opening frames, the standard is picking up pretty dramatically. 90 plus break from Zhao to move 3 1 in front. And the possibility of something big here for Michael Holt. 75 left. I should say 67 left, so he only needs this red. Great break. One. Could we see a 90 plus followed by a century? And it's just that, you know, there comes an occasion, Phil, when there's just that one tournament where a player grows up, doesn't he, at the table, I'm thinking, you know what I mean? And I think that's been the case here this week for Michael Holt. He's, he's been showing a lot of maturity at the table here. Couldn't agree more. And uh, it's interesting, isn't it? There are one or two players who have suddenly discovered that missing X factor in the later like. stages of their career. Mark Davis springs to mind now. 41 years of age, having the best 18 months of his life by far, having turned pro in the early 90s. And Michael Holt now 35. He's been a pro for 17 years. This is his first ever ranking semi, and he just looks so much more confident than I think I've ever seen him before. Well, he does, because, you know, we, we've known we know Michael in the past. He's a great lad and everything like that, good talent. But he just uh, tended to blow a little bit hot and cold. But... He's been very consistent this week, and if this is a sign of things to come, he's got a good season ahead of him. He has, because the talent has certainly never been in doubt. Obviously, a lot more playing opportunities for these boys now. They can really hone the games. Well, Holt's run to the semi-finals have taken him up to his equal highest ranking. 21, and if he gets through to the final, he'll continue to rise. But this really has been tremendous. It wasn't all that straightforward when he came to the table. Pink and black out of commission, had to work hard to keep position. Retrieved himself a couple of times with some good pressure pots, and now he has a century. Yes, his uh, career 125th. Second of the season. And he's reminding Zhao that he's very much still in this contest and up for the battle. Well, hang on a 13. Well, it be a good clearance from here. Hang on, is it in the middle? 
No. Well, the pink doesn't matter, but that's a tremendous break from Michael Holt. A really impressive response to losing the fourth frame and falling two behind. He's now just one behind. Zhao is leading by three frames to two. Frame six is next. To just three two. The first to six will make the final. Well, it was a super break. Good break off shot there as well. It's a uh, good pace on the cue ball. I think uh, Xiao might just put the white to the top cushion here. I don't know whether he was going for this. I wouldn't have thought so. pace again. <coughs> Good return there as well. It's a touch pacey if anything, but uh, as long as you avoid the bulk colours as you go through, that normally white land in a, a good spot. The standard of safety in Shanghai this week, Mike, I think has been absolutely top class. Mm. I agree. Lucky. Very close, wasn't it? I think it helps as well because the table is played, both tables, one and two. Well, okay, we had four tables, but the two show tables have both played very well. We've had a few kicks, but not uh, not a lot of them, you know, like we've seen before. But the plane surface has been superb. Ah, now then, I might see Michael take this right-hand red on. The black is available. Chance to get in here. <coughs> If he doesn't fancy the black, he can easily play on the blue. Just commit to the pot. Well, there's the distance. Great oh. shot. <laughs> Terrific red. All of a sudden, he's come to life. The hitman has loaded his weapon. Just the one table, of course, now. No distractions from other tables or whatever, so you can uh, concentrate on things ahead. Pink going behind its spot. Steady hand required by Zheng Wei Li.
Thank you. Thank you. He's a joy to watch, actually. My corn is playing like this because he likes to get on with it. Doesn't spend much time hovering over the shots. He can make his mind up pretty quickly. Be interesting to hear from Michael if he's doing anything differently now in terms of his preparation, because I've never seen him play with this much confidence. Hmm. I'm not sure. Has he got anybody guiding him? Has he a coach? Is he under somebody's wing? I'm not sure find out for you but uh, the mental preparation is definitely better certainly got the pace of the table Charles' turn to sit in his chair. Cracked in that 90 plus break to move 3 1 in front. He would have felt very happy with the way things were going at the interval, but since then it's been strictly one way the hitman's way. 113 break for 3 2. Half century already here with power to add. And Zhao hasn't troubled the scorers in the last two frames. Not yet, anyway. I just wonder whether we might go into them here. He's got loose reds he can play on, but. Needs a couple of those uh, reds around the pink spot. Good crowd in for this first semi final, but. I can assure you it'll be packed for the second one later today between Bai Hawkins and Ding Junhui. Touch far on the blue. Could play the blue into the corner, come in behind one of these two reds on the right hand side. get there from the green as well. I think the blue's a good angle though to get on this red near the right hand cushion. Well, he fancies the green instead. Well, the brown, you know, if he wants to try and split those four reds, but uh, the blue is just a little bit too thin for the centre. Not far away from within this frame. Colour red colour would do the trick. Well, I think he got a kick there. He's still on this red. I was surprised they didn't play the blue and try and get the white nearer to that side cushion. Uh, this is no Kimi either. Effectively frame ball with the black and near certainty if he pots it. But it's a tough one, isn't it? Yes, it's, well, he's come this far. Will he take it on? Could be costly if he misses it. Yes, one of those frames which would be very hurtful to lose from such a distance in front. So 
This is a big moment. But these are the kind of balls that Holt has been knocking in this week. He's playing the safety. Just clipping off the other red. Chosen to uh, try and protect that lead. And that could have been better. <coughs> Still enough on here for Zhao to get back into this frame. And this is a chance. Great shot. Yeah. But he shouldn't have been able to have seen that one. And now Michael wishes that he'd taken the pot on. Especially if he gets a good split here. And if he clears, that would really hurt. Well, he's nudged one out. He's got two, actually, now. What a steal this would be. A bit to do yet, though. But he has the chance. Well, he sat in his chair for a frame and a half. 178 unanswered points. Which underlines how good that opening red was. Standard really high now, and what a cannon that is. And now Michael Holt will be getting a little fidgety in his chair. Well, there was no insurance for him, was there? There's not a colour on the, on the side cushion or anything like that. And uh, that safety that he played had to be better. It was poor, really, to give Zhao the chance at the pot. Oh, well, you could see the look of frustration on Zhao's face there, the cue ball leaping off the bed of the table. We have had more than our share of kicks in this tournament. There were a lot yesterday in the match between Robertson and Ding. That could have been very costly he's the wrong side of the blue yeah the bonus here is that th the green's off its spot so if he's going to come around off two or three cushions he, he shouldn't hit the green i think he's just holding the white in the middle of the table That wasn't easy. And Michael Holt will be a very relieved man, although. Xiao could easily have left a red there. And I think Holt will just be relieved that he's back at the table because had Xiao not got the kick just now, he might have cleared up and stolen the frame. Yeah, when Zhao played that uh, that previous blue, I thought he might have come round off two or three cushions and trying to get a little bit closer to the red. To say the the path was there with the green off the spot, but he chose to leave the red from distance. Bit of luck here for Holt with uh, Zhao hampered by the green as well. This has become a rather big frame now, hasn't it? Difference between three all and four two. Holt looked the hot favourite when he was on a break of 65. Poor safety. Zhao got in. Unlucky kick and. Went on to miss a red. 43 the difference, 51 on. Might play the double kiss on the red here, try and get the white back to bulk. You have to hit that fullish, otherwise it does that. It goes sideways and he's left it on. It was awkward queuing, you could see the, what he was trying to do. And so often you see the players play that shot and the white goes directly back down the table. But there's a chance here for Michael just to uh, to finish off this frame now. 
This is frame ball. Snooker's required if Holt sinks this red. Slightly awkward queuing, hampered by the brown. Big pot this. And he's missed it. it just seemed to rush that a little. He didn't have his hand on the table before he hit the cue ball. He's got away with it though, but this gives Zhao the chance here to take this red off this cushion. Put it into a better position. Well, again, you know, that could have been better. It's not just about getting the white down the other end of the table. You need to put it in a good spot. about this one. Oh, what a shot that is. Superb. Fans enjoyed the skill on show there and Jout acknowledges what an excellent safety that was. It could be a frame winning safety. Remember Michael Holt only requires one red to leave the Chinese requiring snookers. element of hidden hope about this one. And that foul means that Shao does need snookers. I think that's a free ball as well. Yeah, going back because uh, no real value in the free ball. But 50 points behind. I think he's just asking for the still frame here because it's important where that black goes back actually especially the angle that the white's coming off that side cushion yeah there are still of course 51 on the table so Shao could still win by a point but snookered as he is in the manner in which he is it's going to be some recovery to pinch this frame from here yeah, he's, he's trying to hit the red just right of the uh, right of the black here. I mean, sort of a glancing blow and hopefully get the white to the top cushion, but let's see if he can do it better this time. Good angle. But he didn't want to hit it foolish because he's left the other one on. So just the red required then for Michael. Over cut it by distance. Well, that was a great chance. I was just about to say that he's played well since I've come back from the interval, but he won't be best pleased with that one. Well, he's had two pretty gettable reds now to put the frame away. And the way Zhao has played, have to take those opportunities. Good red, and he'd have a great chance to steal this frame. Oh, <laughs> missed it by the proverbial country mile. Yeah, and that wasn't it. Has he left much, though? Could have been a lot worse. I'm just wondering if that red will pass the yellow. Would appear as though it does from Holt's body language. This then. The man from Nottingham's third opportunity to put this frame to bed. Just gone for the uh, the mini butt extension there. Here we see the Hawkeye view and confirmation that there's just enough room for the red to pass the yellow into its own pocket. Third time lucky then for Michael Holt and that. Initial break of 65, looks set to be enough to level this semi-final. Couple of snookers now required just to tie it for Zhao, and he's going to be facing a snooker in a moment. Well, he's elected to play on, but uh, Michael Holt has played very well since that uh, coming back from the interval. Well, he might concede now. He's had enough. 
Yes, impressive stuff from Holt from 3-1 behind, responding with a century and then that break of 65. Took him a little while to get over the line, but he has. And from 3-1 down, he's levelled the semi-final at three frames apiece. Both players then requiring three frames to make the final and we'll have frame seven after this short break. First opportunity then for Zhao in the seventh frame to build a commanding lead. Well, both players have really picked up their form in recent times. The first couple of frames were pretty forgettable, scrappy affairs, but 90 break from Zhao, a century then from Holt, and then a 65, and now the Chinese has a chance for something pretty big here. It's not gone to plan. Tough blue to keep the break going. And what a confident pot that was. Terrific queuing. Chow up to 31 in the rankings as a result of his run to his first major semi.
Got a nice angle here. If he wishes to develop the cluster of reds. Opted to play for the loose one above the black. Now three loose reds available before he has to think about going into the bunch. Already with a lead of 31. It's looking good for Zhao in frame seven. Well, considering he's been sat in his chair for pretty much the last couple of frames, this is a good response here from the young man. Just nudge another red out there, but he needs another couple more after this one. In fact, he could nudge one or two open here. Might stay on the pink, but he can certainly go down for the blue. Well played. Excellent. Well, this has been superb. And that red will now pop. It's just come beyond the green, so he should win the frame from here. Expect him to. This is turning into a very good match, uh, Phil. It's, it's taking its time to unfold, but all of a sudden these two lads are really starting to play. Terrific standard. First two or three were a little bit scrappy, but it's like one and two visit stuff now. Well, there was always the danger, Mike, wasn't there, given that this is, by a distance, the biggest match of their lives as we get another shot of the Jester from Leicester, defeated by Barry Hawkins in that terrific tussle yesterday, that it would be a very bitty, nervy affair full of scrappy frames. And it kind of started that way, but since the second frame, things have really picked up. Yeah. Both starting to produce the best. They've uh, brought each other on here, really. And they both want it. They look like they want it as well which is a great sign for us. And this is terrific stuff. We've seen a lot of good snooker this week. Some really superb matches. Ding against Murphy, going the distance. Davis against Zhao in the quarters. Selby against Hawkins in the quarters. And even though the Ding-Robertson match wasn't particularly close, Ding winning 5-2, it was full of good snooker from both players. Yes, and that was frame ball. This has been superb. Well, Holt hasn't done a lot wrong in this frame. Good opening red from Zhao. And that terrific recovery blue. The length of the table. What a terrific break. This guy looks the real deal to me. We're waiting for another Chinese star to emerge. With Ding Zhongwei still head and shoulders above the rest. Well, this man looks like he may have the credentials to go a long way. He's climbing the rankings. Still only 24 years of age. He's only been a pro for six years. Former Asian under-21 champion. That really uh, was a marker for how talented he is, and he's proving it now on the big stage. hit a 90 plus to move 3-1 in front is threatening to be a century after breaks of 113 and 65 from his opponent it's snooker right out of the top draw 
Terrific stuff from the home favourite. The 60th century of his pro career, his third this season. Can't threaten Barry Hawkins' high break of 140. But 129 on offer here. If he completes the total clearance. Well, the blue stays out, but the century was superb from Zhao Gudong. What a treat for this capacity crowd here at the Shanghai Grand Stage, and what a way for Zhao to retake the lead. 4-3, his advantage. He needs two more for victory. This is fast becoming a high-class semi-final. Zhao having cracked in a century to move 4-3 in front of Michael Holt. Both players have hit 100 break. And we've seen other sizable contributions after a scrappy opening to this match. Can Holt now respond once again? He was 3-1 down and level at 3-all. Zhao played a near-perfect frame to edge back in front. Six the target for victory and a place in the final.
Well, that was an attempt at a pot. Overcut it by a mile. And uh, not too bad, actually. Yeah, he got lucky, didn't he? If he'd not kissed the red on the way back up the table with the cue ball, he might have left it. Well, I sure can cut this in, but I think he might go for the safety. Well, is he looking to cut this in? Possibly try and get onto the black. Oh, well, it wasn't it the black, but it wasn't too clever, whatever it was. <laughs> overcut by a huge margin. I just thought he might have played the safety there, actually. Just take the uh, bring the red down this end of the table. It's given Michael a fairly easy starter here to get in. Play this with a bit of top spin to get the cue ball back out of ball. Wow. Nicely done. Well, both players have been in terrific scoring form in the last few frames. This is Holt's opportunity to respond to that excellent century from Zhao, which put him 4-3 to the good. Remember, coming up later, our second semi-final promises to be every good of, as this one is proving to be between uh, Ding Zhongwei and Barry Hawkins. Possibility still of an all-Chinese final. Yes, it's effectively England versus China, isn't it? A few oohs from the crowd there. He very nearly missed that red, did Holt, but it uh, just wriggled in. Nice angle here. If he wants to develop them, although there is a loose red or two. Ooh, that was a bit of a big bounce off the top cushion. But he's still got uh, the red just this side of the pack. That's a relatively new phenomenon, isn't it, Mike? These uh, these giant bounces that we get from time to time. Is that to do with the speed of the cloth, do you think? Or? No, I don't, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, because the t table, they've got the under table heaters now, haven't we? And, and sometimes, it, you know, the warmth gets through to the rubber on the cushions. And it, we don't get it that often. And we're, it's annoying for a player, when you f especially if you played on one ball there. He, he was OK because he was actually settling on two reds. But sometimes, if you're having to play on that single ball, it can affect... Uh, the positional side, but um, it does happen from time to time. <coughs> Let's not forget that the heaters they use are sort of pads these days, they're not like the old tubes that we used to have. These are actually pads stuck onto the slate, so you get a constant warmth all the way through. Thank you. A bit like an electric blanket. Mm. Tables have played well this week, though. Well, we've seen plenty of good scoring, that's for sure. Barry Hawkins leading the way in the high break stakes with his 140 against Selby yesterday. This frame in progress just under eight minutes now. Holt building a useful lead. He looks to level the match. Yeah, there's one of the arena scoreboards. So both the players, of course, and the audience can see what's going on. But you'll need to split a few here now, unless that one that's just below the pink goes. And he's just checking the cannon on that right and red. He's looking to just pass the pink here on the right hand side. Or is there a red that's open? Gone into them. And he's been a little bit unlucky. And he's split them well, but I'm not sure if there's anything there to the left middle. spin on the cue ball to kill the white at this end but I don't think there's anything there. He was unlucky there Michael. Michael Has to settle then for that useful but by no means decisive lead of 32. Safety from Zhao. Has Holt in a bit of bother here. 
Yes, if the black went to the right corner, it would be taken on the left on red, but it doesn't, and that's what makes this more awkward now. Well, there's nothing there, but I think you can see that one on the right-hand side. Might be forced into this a little, because he's got him wrong-sided. Can't come off any of the other reds. In fact, the two reds are on the side cushion. The one that's nearest to us, he could play and up and down with the white off that one. Yes, he's just acknowledging the uh, the safety shot there from Zhao. This is awkward. Whatever he was trying there, it went awry. This is a chance for Zhao to get right back in this frame. And sometimes when you play a shot like that, you wish he'd gone for the pot, because this could cost him the frame. <laughs> just would like that, uh, that white to just to run through a little bit more, but he's got a shot on this black. I'm not sure whether this red will actually go into the left corner. Well, I think it does, so you can play on that in a little while. Oh, that's not too clever. Can you see enough of this red to take it on to the corner pocket? I think he's run out of position here. Yes, I'm not sure there's anything that goes there. That'll be frustration for Zhao with the reds invitingly spread. Not to be on one. 26, 24 points behind. Is he looking at a plant here? That would be very ambitious. Mm -hmm. Certainly would. Well, he's asking for the spider, so he's looking to put the white to the top cushion here. He'll be disappointed that uh, he's not on a red because that was a good chance. This game is often about patience, putting the disappointment of losing position or missing a ball out of your mind if you possibly can and just getting on with the job. The very best players tend to be rather better at that. It's a lot easier said than done. It's such a mental battle this game sometimes. Mm, I think he's just clipping off this actually. Well, it would have been good if the white had been to the cushion. But there's a couple of tempters here on the right hand side. Neither are easy. Now then, is he thinking about the pot? This could be all or nothing. Shout trailing by 24. Oh, great shot. I mean, it, the, it was dead straight. What queuing that is just to drop that in for the black, and that, that'll be a sickness for Michael Holt. Well, the blue he potted in the previous frame on his way to a century was almost as good as that one. Well, he's standing up well here, Young Zhao, isn't he, Phil? Because, you know, he's seen Mike come, Michael come back at him from 3-1. And uh, the only insurance here, really, from Michael are those two reds near the side cushion. A terrific red to get in. Both players are playing extremely well. It's a really good semi-final. A little straighter on the blue than he would have liked.
So Zhao takes the lead. Michael Holt will be hoping that those two reds nestling on the left-hand rail will keep him in contention in this frame. Because if he goes two down with three to play against an informed Zhao Gudong, that's a tall order. Yes, and, but you know, within a couple of shots, he might get the correct angle on the black to nudge those two reds away from that cushion. We shall see. In fact, he could go down for the blue here and leave himself the angle to come off the top cushion with the white. I wonder if he's thinking about that. To take them out. Difficult to stay on the black, of course. Now, no one wants to be a little bit further. Well, he's not straight enough to run into them either. So I think he'll have to just play on this right hand red for the time being. And of course, if he can drop that in, he could then get a good angle on the black try to dislodge the red instead well I'm not sure about that shot Phil I mean especially with the reds off the cushion he could have easily played on it let's end a break then barring a double but this young man's beginning to impress me actually he has all week he's got better as the week has got on He's, uh, he's a good brake builder, he's got a good temperament, and he's got a great future in the game. Yes, he's got an excellent rhythm around the table. He's a very confident player. He won't be thrilled with that safety shot, however, having elected to try and dislodge the red from the right-hand rail rather than play behind it. It's a tough red, but it's gettable for Holt. I think he can get to the potting angle. And if you can pop it in and get the right angle on the black, you could try and get those two reds off the cushion. 16 points he trails by. I think he might have a go at this one. There's the distance. There are some non vital statistics for you. <laughs> What's that in inches? <laughs> Feet and inches. I'd need a calculator. Yeah. Where's the old imperial <laughs> stuff, eh? Could have been worse for Holt. He missed it by quite a distance. It was a very tough pot be fair but he snookered Zhao on the ready attempted so plenty to of snooker still to come in this frame it's a big frame the biggest of the match so far the difference between 5-3 and 4 apiece 5-3 you sense might be a little bit, bit too much for Holt to claw back he wins the frame very much game on Well, I think he can afford to play this down the cushion and screw back for the black. Well, hang on. What's he done? What's he done there? <coughs> well, he made a real hash of that to shout. I think Zhao was attempting to do what you suggested there, Mike, but uh, he just hit it all wrong, and the red left the cushion. Well, he had to play it much harder than that, in as much that to try and rattle the red and get it away from the pocket anyway, but uh, he's, he's offered up the chance. It, it's still risky, but it's a chance. Yeah, it's a tough pot. Slightly awkward queuing as well, with the cue ball so close to the side cushion. I don't think Michael Holt fancies it particularly. The question is whether he can play a better safety.
Didn't want to catch the blue. And then it's another case where he wishes he'd gone for the pot now because he might have thrown this frame away. That's so annoying for a player. You know, you decide to play the safety, you play a poor one. And goes the red then. Big chance for Zhao. 17 points to the good already. Round to follow. That's the reason why he put that red there. <laughs> Just All part of his cunning plan. Yeah, thinking ahead. Well, he needs both remaining reds to seal this frame, but he's favourite to achieve that. Well, he's got a good angle on the brown or the green here, but Michael would be so annoyed with himself that uh, having decided to play the safety, he didn't play it very well. Choosing the green. This is all about weight, really. This looks good. One's in behind it. Absolutely perfect. This is about to go 5 3. And again, he's, uh, since Michael came back at him here, the Jows have stood up well here. 26 the difference, so. The green is all he needs. <laughs> Quick look at the scoreboard. Holt needs a snooker. This to really make sure it's not Michael coming back to the table. Well, he didn't play the green very well. I thought he would have come back directly off the green rather than playing the stun onto the cushion. And he's just opened the door slightly here for Michael in this frame. Just the one snooker required for the man from Nottingham, England. As we see a replay of the yellow catching the far jaw and staying on the table. Yeah, it wasn't a great positional shot from green to yellow. He's just going to screw him behind the brown here, but it has to be good touch because you can under hit it, and you can over hit it. This looks good. And he's nudged the pink into play as well. Could have done with that white really tight against the brown, though. It's fairly easy to hit coming off the back cushion. It's not like he's playing the swerve shot. I wasn't quite sure he got enough side on that. Good hit from Zhao. This is turning into a very good match between these two. Well, both have proved they're worthy having made the semi finals. the pot there Holt has he got lucky no he hasn't well it's not a gimme but a big chance for Zhao to close it out now we move to within one of victory and it goes well he had to play it dead weight because he knew that cue ball was going towards that corner pocket two snookers to tie now for Michael Holt yeah and if you can drop this one in he won't be coming back to the table. Mm, now then, he will now. It's a very important part of this match. There's a chance of getting behind the black here. Brown up and down. The 
Looks pretty good. Well, that was invited slightly the way the balls were positioned, and uh, the middle pocket is slightly in the way here to come off the right hand side, and there's plenty of room around this brown as well. Yeah, this is a tough one to hit. Especially when you're trying to gauge the angle off one cushion. He knows he's got the insurance that it's only it's two snookers needed, not just the one. Otherwise, the, the pressure would be on. Two four-point snookers at least. So this frame isn't over quite yet. That's a possible off two cushions with some side. It's not far away. Ah, now then. Now it gets interesting. Michael Holt. So just the one snooker to tie now for Michael Holt. I just wonder whether he might pot the brown here, Phil, because he can win with one snooker on the blue, but of course then you're cutting down your odds, aren't you? You need to try and leave as many balls on the table as possible. And uh, the black's in good position. And also, I'm just thinking where the pink is. If he can pot this brown and get in such a position with the cue ball he could just nestle in behind that pink that's what he's contemplating here I think he, oh, sorry I think he, I think he might pot this brown and try and lay the snook on the blue what a Philip it would be for Holt if he could somehow turn this frame around oh he's very close to that pink with the waistcoat perilously close yeah too close I think he's gone for the mini but that was definitely a foul shot waiting to happen. That's better. That was a good pot. So now, just the one snooker to win. It's not ideal position though. He wanted to be the right hand side of the blue spot just to clip off the blue and try and get in behind the pink. It's not easy from there. He knows that's not good position. He could play the blue up and down, try and get the white behind the black. I don't know whether he can get the angle to stun him behind the pink. being made to sweat a little longer for his 5-3 lead then. Had the chance to kill off the frame on the colours, didn't quite manage to do so. Will it come back to haunt him? Good attempt. The question is, will he get another one? Because Mjau will be certainly going for this. And I think this goes in, of course, the frame is over. Well, he chose to wait. I thought he might be trying to pop that. It's an old head on young shoulders. You know, I don't think he played that. Well, I hope not, because it wasn't the right shot. Well, I saw Jimmy White once win a ranking tournament in a final frame decider against Cliff Thorburn when he required a snooker with only pink and black left on the table. That was the Mercantile Credit Classic back in 1986. White's maiden ranking title. Well... I'll give him the benefit, he might have played the pot that and lay the snooker on that pink. This is pretty five good. Five. He's just overdone it slightly. Well, of course, now his odds 
you know, have really cut down. You can see that. He'll play a little swerve to hit this pink full ish. He doesn't want to go in off this. He's got to be careful here. Well, it's all or nothing now in this frame for Michael. Somehow he's got to get that snooker behind the black. Too much uh, backspin on the white there. Well, I'll just uh, put the pink towards the green pocket. You can actually push this over to the yellow pocket. Well, that should have been better. We've been playing over half an hour in this frame now, then, after the Battle for snookers from Michael Holt. Still has a glimmer of hope. Just the one snooker required, but only two balls to work with. Terrific attempt. Mm, unlucky. The only problem now is, of course, playing that shot he's offered up the, the pot. Can Zhao kill it off them and move 5 3 in front? Not yet. chance of just clipping off this very thin and white off the side and top cushions unless he plays the half stun shot it's the more difficult shot should be the really thin edge well oh, this looks good he's got no he's just wide that was a good chance there different and it nearly came off I want just wonder if he might move the black here try and move it off that spot good shot well played that's a very clever shot putting the black into the middle of the table now it's almost impossible to get a good snooker here where's that white yeah. Oof. I think the only hope here for, for Michael uh, Phil is that if Xiao goes in off the pink actually I mean to get a snooker behind the black there in the middle of the table it will be unbelievable hang on oh. well the white didn't go in but the pink did and that is the end of what proved to be a lengthy eighth frame and a very big one from Xiao's point of view because the young Chinese is now 5-3 to the good in this Shanghai Masters semi-final, which means he requires just one more for his first ever appearance in a major ranking final. He leads Michael Holt by five frames to three, and we'll be back with frame nine in a moment's time. Big task then for Michael Holt, with Xiao requiring just the single frame. Holt needs the remaining three. Very impressed with this young man, actually, because you know, at 3 1, Michael came back at him pretty strongly to make it three apiece. But like I said, he's he stood his ground. Yes, 
First two frames were shared. Holt managing to level the match on the final black and then Xiaomu 3-1 in front, courtesy of a break of over 90. Holt hit back in tremendous fashion after the interval with a century and a 65 for three all. Zhao then said anything you can do. He hit his own 100 break. And then that uh, tense finale to frame eight when Michael Holt was trying to get the snookers he required failed in the end when he inadvertently potted the final pink. So 5-3 Zhao, he is the favourite. Well, he needed that white tight to the cushion, really. He's left a red onto the yellow pocket here. And if this goes in, there's four or five reds open. not tempted with the one to the yellow pocket. I don't think he's playing a pot here either. Well, he's prepared to wait for a better chance. Well, it's Holt that has to make the running now. He's got to conjure something special if he's to make his first ever ranking final. Remember, uncharted territory for both of these men to reach the last four of a big tournament. Oh, that was so close to going in. Look at the action he got on the cue ball. At least the second objective was achieved, getting the white back into Bork. Terrific cueing here from Holt. So nearly sunk the red as it is. All 15 reds still on the table. Wonder if we might get a maximum this weekend, Phil. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Because we've had some great snooker this week, and that would really put the icing on the cake. Forty thousand pounds available. I was going to say it would be nice for whoever made it. That's yeah. for sure. That would be a, an early Christmas present, wouldn't it? Especially if they won the tournament as well. One hundred and twenty thousand pounds. Not too shabby. It's a good one here. Michael Holt has yet to hit a maximum in professional competition, but he has twice made breaks of 144, including this year at the German Masters in Berlin. Charles' best break, 141. That was uh, the year he turned pro back in 07 at the Grand Prix. But there's an excellent long red from the Chinese. He'd love to get the job done, wouldn't he, in this frame? He's got a shot on the brown as well. Oh, I thought it was just running on too far, but uh, this is OK to the centre. It might just drop in behind the brown if he can't get close to these reds. That's an excellent red because he's played that with a lot of check side to straighten up the cue ball. Well, he's not interested. I think he's playing the snooker. Pretty ruthless, almost Steve Davis-esque stuff here from Zhao. This is to turn the screw, isn't he? This is tough match snooker, isn't it? Two cushions, trying to get to the one on the top cushion here. Well, I think that will go back. Michael's not moving, he's just waiting for the white to go back there. You can see the idea though, he's just gone a little bit too far down the cushion or, or perhaps a little bit too much side on that cue ball. But he's got a good idea now. Just, yeah, he's just saying just slightly further away from the brown. He'll play the same shot again. Looks better. This looks very good. Well played. Acknowledged by Zhao with a little tap on the table. Good escape from Michael Holt. No damage done. But there's a 
is another good return. It certainly is. It was nearly a great one. He's really keeping Michael under the cosh here. Showing a lot of maturity, Zhao. A bit thin. Made the quarterfinals of the PTC Grand Finals in Galway, both this year and last. A Zhao, his best showing before this tournament in a ranking event. But he's already scored victories over the likes of O'Sullivan, Ding, Ebden and Trump. So he knows how to beat the big players. He's going in the right direction, that is for sure. Now I wonder if you can see this red near the black. If you can, it's a, a natural angle to take it on, and the white should be avoiding everything else. I think he was just checking the angle of the cue ball there, if he does take it on. He's made up his mind. Great shot. Well, he's potted some cracking balls from distance this morning. Oh, I think he meant that one. Clean as a whistle. And one good pot on the green. It was amazing that he went round the red on the uh, near the top cushion. Right in the centre of the pocket. Well, once again, he's turning the screw. He's keeping Michael Holt right under the cosh here, waiting for a better opportunity. Well, the difference now is he can't play that shot twice across because uh, if he, <laughs> he knows <laughs> that if he, if he tries to get on that red... Yeah, he just said, I'm, I'm in trouble. Well, Holt has not lost his sense of humour. Deep trouble, he said, and he's not wrong. This will be phone a friend or ask the audience time. <laughs> Well, win or lose, Michael Holt can take a lot out of this tournament. I think he's turned a bit of a corner this week in Shanghai. He's just shown that little bit of steel to go with his undoubted talent. And if it is to be a losing semi-final, well, that's still the best he's ever produced in his 17 years as a pro and something to really build on. Well, there might be a, a need for speed here, uh, Phil. <laughs> I might just have to hit this and hope that he gets them safe. But where, where does he put the white? There's, there's reds available to both corners if he tries to lay on one. It's one of those. I think just hit it and see what happens. Yes, where, where do you put the cue ball and keep them safe? I think even Ronnie O'Sullivan might struggle to conjure a shot from here. But you never know. Hit and hope and you might get lucky. Can't blame Holt for thinking about this one. It could be his last shot of the tournament. Here we go. Hit and hope. He's somehow managed to find the black. Well, it never rains, but it pours. 15 reds to aim at, and he found the black. Well, 13 reds anyway, but you get my point. It was pretty tough to pick out the black from there, wasn't it, Mike? Unbelievable. Yeah, if you wanted to do that, you couldn't do it. Yes, well, he, he knew, well, he knew he was in trouble. Still smiling at least, but the question now is whether Zhao can finish the job at this visit to the table. What? Well, he's <laughs> nearly overscrewed that yeah. one. He was a bit anxious, wasn't he? Great chance here to put himself into tomorrow's final. And there's still that possibility it could be an all Chinese final. Well, that would be some atmosphere in well, the Shanghai Grand Stage if it happens. Well, I'd, I'd like to see the viewing figures. Ding Zhongvi to play Barry Hawkins a little later, of course. 
Ding in tremendous form yesterday against Neil Robertson, as was Hawkins against Mark Selby. Hello. And that final will be over the best of 19 frames. And if it's uh, half as good as last year's between John Higgins and Judd Trump, it'll be worth watching. Higgins, 7-2 behind to the ace in the pack at one stage, hit a 1-4-7 on his way to a 10-9 victory. He'd settle for another one of those. And Trump, of course, one of Michael Holt's victims this week, beaten soundly 5-1 yeah Judd's not quite on fire at the moment is he he's struggling a little bit and he's got to find something the rest of the season I'm sure he'll come good at some stage yeah plenty of snooker still to come isn't there we've got some big events before the end of the year the international championship will be back in China for that one the UK championship and uh, one or two PTC events as well the European tour continues here on Eurosport so lots to come in 2013 and plenty more before the end of this 2013-14 season of course uh, Zhao knows that if he gets the final his ranking will continue to be upwardly mobile, he's already enjoying his best to date, 31 in the world now, just getting to this semi-final. And on the evidence of what we've seen this week, he is definitely bound for the higher echelons of the game. He seems to have everything required to make it big. Fast moving towards the winning line in this match. 52 points to the good. Still plenty of open reds. Black on its spot. 40. And he's in a hurry. And this, of course, set up by that wonderful long red and then the safety tight behind the green, which left Michael Holt clutching at straws. He hit the black in his hit and hope escape and that was all he could really do such a tough snooker to get out of and this is the result Absolute gimme this, has to be a little careful. Made it look easy, and he's perfectly on the blue. Well, you fancy him to be in the final now. This has been a, a super match, really, between these two, and Michael Holt looked really good when he came back from 3-1 behind to 3 all. but since then, again, this young man has just stood his ground and thought, OK, then fine, it's my turn. Now he's a couple of balls away from tomorrow's final. Yep, 67 left with 67 on the table. This black then to effectively put Zhao into his first ever ranking final. And the possibility of meeting compatriot Ding Zhongwei. Barry Hawkins will have something to say about that later on Eurosport. But there goes the black and there's another easy red to follow. It looks like Michael Holt's Shanghai Masters and a memorable one certainly from his point of view is coming to an end here, but Xiao Gudong is marching on. Been very impressed by this young man. We thought he might be a case of rabbit in the headlights for his third semi-final. If he continues to play like this tomorrow, there's no reason why he can't lift the trophy. Disappointment for Michael Holt, of course, but he's had a great week. And he hasn't done a lot wrong. It's not as though he's folded under the pressure of the occasion, he's played his part. Zhao's been that little bit too good for him. 
Uh, the pressure now off. The balls are flying into the centre of the pockets. Can he round things off with a century? He's already made one, as has Michael Holt in this match. We've seen plenty of high scoring after a scrappy start. Seven. Really has been a top draw match. Worthy of the occasion. He will be feeling very special inside right now. Could he have dreamt of this when he was qualifying? I think we found a new star, Phil. Well, China's been waiting for one now for a while. We know how brilliant Ding Zhongwei is. Is this the man to take on his mantle? On this evidence, every chance. He's only 24. Puts Ding's achievements into perspective, though, doesn't it? Ding, just a couple of years older than that, and he's already a double UK champion, a Masters champion. Six ranking titles to Ding's name. That's how good he is. And he has very much been the flag bearer for the game in the Far East. Time for another superstar. Yeah, that was his 60th career century. It was his 61st, of course. He made a century early on in the match. My apologies. But this has been superb. What a way to finish off this semi-final. Well, it's been clinical, hasn't it? He showed really ruthless snooker in laying a couple of snookers when he might have gone for a pot, and he was absolutely vindicated because this is the result of putting Michael Holt in a near-impossible position. A total clearance, a century to boot. What a way to reach your maiden ranking final, and no wonder he salutes the crowd as Michael Holt congratulates him on a superb performance. The crowd are all smiles. That is something special from Zhao Gudong. The Chinese qualifier has gone all the way through to the Shanghai Masters final, where he will face either Barry Hawkins or his compatriot Ding Zhongwei. Either way, it'll be an occasion to remember.